the Inland Empire's home for NASCAR. Fox Sports 1350. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet all day long, all day strong. You heard? Yes, we are live from the iHeartRadio studios right here in Riverside, California. This is IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And this is the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. Greg Holler, we lost the song Poison. We don't have poison anymore. Oh, man. Hey, hey Holler, you, Holla, you are doing. Don't let this guy, man. This, this guy out there making, making obscene gestures. You know, Brandy Arrington loved that song, Poison. You know, oh, like I said. This guy our, right here, man. That's our theme song, man. Never trust a bit, you know, yeah, and yeah. a smile. There we are. I, we digress. Absolutely, <laughs> great, man. Great Saturday morning. It is going down right here live in studio. Uh, a great week uh, in sports. Man, so much to talk about, man. A lot of stuff going on. And obviously, we are excited to be here right here live on Fox Sports 1350. Absolutely, man. Like you said, it's a great, great week in sports. One thing, oh, there it is. I appreciate it, Mr. Greg Holler. There it is, BBD Poison. That is the jam. Take me back to my generation. But, you know, a great week in sports. We were talking about this with Pete Nice. You know, I'm not a track guy. I know, Eternal, you're a track guy. But uh, Vista Murrieta's own Michael Norman is, is, I mean, the only thing I can say is he is straight killing it. So explain to me, he ran a 2.0, 20.06. What does that mean in the 200? That means that he was ice skating. That means, <laughs> that means he literally had on ice skates as he was curving those corners and so forth. Uh, he wasn't really running. Uh-huh. You know, he was hovering. Because when you do a 20, when, when you hit a, when you're doing a 20, I mean, I th- I'm trying to think. Like, at my best, I don't know. I mean, maybe a 25. Uh-huh, you know what uh-huh. I mean? I mean, you know, I mean, and that's five seconds. So, in track world, right. you know, it's like he started, and, and I was still in the in the blocks. You he know what I mean? Like, five second lead. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> five seconds is an eternity. When you get beat by a second, uh-huh. that's bad. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Like, you can see, it's, it's, you know, that's, that shows that somebody, like, got you pretty good. So, just to kind of put it in perspective, uh, you had, I mean, it, you know, and this brother's out there. And we talked about this as well. This brother's out there beating grown men. Right, right. Olympians. With the Vista Marietta shirt with the, still with on. The high school, with the high school get up. Sue Cravens is somewhere crying right now. I mean, look, somebody, if I'm an Olympian or uh-huh. a former Olympian and I got, I didn't got medals, ain't no high school cat about to, you going to run yeah. against me. I'm, 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 I'm going to hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to stop the race. Yeah. You have to put on some regular gear. <laughs> you gonna tr- I'll trip him. Yeah, you fast yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna sit there and just go sit there in front of my mama. And, and he beat my Tyson ones. Gay. I yeah, mean, that's what I'm saying. He's beating. I would have. Tyson Gay was an Olympian, right? He, he is, yes, he is an Olympian. He is a he, he carries a medal. And and like I said before the race started, I would tell Mr. Norman, you gonna have to go in the locker room uh-huh. and change it to some respect, some grown man clothes. Uh-huh. You're gonna beat me in a high school joint. Well, he gonna say my name is Michael Norman. Respect my name. <laughs> Respect my name. Yeah. So yeah. So as you were saying, uh, he's uh, just doing some really, really good things. Uh, you know, Gatorade yeah. runner, of, uh, athlete of the year, and, and it just shows that, that that they knew what they were talking about when they selected him to be the runner of the year. You know, and, indeed. And also a, a huge story coming out of uh, Riverside again. A uh, graduate from Riverside. I mean, excuse me, from JW North. Thirty-two year old, mother of three, Shante Lowe, uh, uh-huh. qualified for the Rio Olympics as well uh, by winning nice. the women's high jump. Uh, you know, with the world lead jump of six feet and seven inches. That means she is climbing over, almost over LeBron. Uh-huh. You know what I mean, LeBron's six eight, so she just uh, uh, getting over. Him. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, so big up to her. Uh, you know, she she also was the 2001 CIF state champ um, as well. Well, excuse me, excuse me, the second part of me. I do apologize about that, but at any rate, she's doing her thing. So, and also we got our, our girl uh, uh, B Mart. Uh, Brenda and you've been talking about her for some years, man. Man, she's been doing her thing. She I, doesn't know. return our call. She doesn't return our text. <laughs> she big time. She big she time. She doesn't return you know? our email. <laughs> you know, that's okay. That's okay. You know, she's up there in Big Bear training. 21, you know? 21 Front Street. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, at any rate, uh, it's going down. But she's do, really doing a, a great job. In the, she's going to be running the, uh, well, she did qualify for the final, the 1,500-meter final, which means four laps around a mile. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, that's when you, can you run a mile right now, Coach B? I probably could, man. It, you know, I, I, I'm sure I could, man. Yeah, I, I like. See, I like that, Coach B. Let's get it done. Right, that's why I like that. Let's get see? it done, man. I, we can put some money on it. I get it done, man. I <laughs> four laps around. We are gonna have to do that. We are gonna yeah. have to do that. Put the put the camera out there and see if yeah. Coach B can get it. You know, have the 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 what's the the wheels of chariot the, 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 the music. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or chairs of fire or whatever. Chairs of fire. Yes, yeah, sir. She's a UCR grad, man. Don't forget that. Put oh, yeah, no, on. yeah. But yeah, we got to put some respect on Yeah, and we're looking for, speaking of UCR, uh, very soon we're going to be having uh, Miss uh, AD. Uh, no, this AD has been doing some great things. The UCR AD. What's, what's, what's her name, P Nice? Tamika Jones. Peace, peace and respect to her. Also, I want to, uh, just, just in, in some local news, I know we got a lot to talk about today. We have some special guests in the studio, but also on August, I want to make sure I'm getting this right. I do believe it's August 19th. August 19th. You didn't know this, uh, Coach B, but one of our parks, like back in the day, uh-huh. the, the, you know, this revered is Bobby Bonds Park. Uh-huh. Quad, you know, you know, there's OGs, but then there's quadruple OGs. Uh-huh. Did you have to put respect with a K on their name? Uh-huh. Uh, so Bobby Bonds, is the father of the best, what I hold as the best player in baseball, Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds, and he is having Riverside as elected. I was gonna say, ha- I know he's is he really May's dad? You know, you know what, man? Oh, my, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I digress. Go oh, ahead, Go, you were saying <laughs> he ain't from Downey. That's why he ain't from Downey. Was he Reggie Jackson's dad? He, he from he from. Oh, he, he oh, say oh, Reggie okay. Jackson. <laughs> Mr. October? Yeah, this dude. This dude is Mr. <laughs> baseball season. Put some respect on that man's name. Yeah. Anyway, um, it, Riverside has elected to have the official, it is official Bobby Bonds Day. So I want to make sure I got that. I do believe it is August 19th, official Bobby Bonds Day. So uh, last year they have Young Barry came out, uh-huh. signed baseball. Nice. Dusty Baker, who is also from the side, who is currently the, the manager of the uh, Washington Nationals. Nice. He's from the side. I call him OG Toothpick because he used to rock the toothpick to the side, uh-huh. you know. Uh, but he's he also sent, I mean, just a whole uh, a bag full of baseball. There's Olympians out there, so the kids are going to get a chance to enjoy. This is going to be August 19th over at uh, Bobby Bonds Park, uh, which is also uh, Cesar. They also have housed uh, Cesar Chavez Community Center. Um, and, again, that's downtown Riverside, so you guys uh, will have that information on our website. So we're really excited about that as well. I, I I am excited about it as well. It's good to see people come back. That's oh, always man, good. I, we, we you know it's it, that's one of the things that we have to really because uh, you know a lot of times people think this the athletes uh, that they need to return a favor, but also just people like the regular citizens can return the favor as well. You know, you can volunteer for your local park and recreation. So don't, you know, a lot of people are very quick to to point out the athletes are doing something, but regular everyday folks, you are needed as well um, in the community. So again, and we do applaud the people that are. Dedicating their time to that. Absolutely. You listen to IE Sports and on Fox Sports 1350. Absolutely. We're pressed up against the clock. I'm excited. Some things that we have coming. And, you know, in the summertime, we always do the seven on seven. And we love to get the kids that are, are the future up in here. So I'm excited about it. We have a guy out here that's really doing some some things. The this, this seven on seven thing is, is taking on a new life. So we have these. Uh, it's a seven on seven team. They call it EAT, Explosive Athletic Training. Coach Bird is out there. Word. Um, and also our guy from EM Speed, he saw something. He dropped the line for us. And uh, we got to get him in as well. Yeah, I know. And, well, because I got to get some of that free training. Uh, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm trying to look like Hercules. You know, we got Punch in here. He running around looking like, you know, he, 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 like, he could be a brief model. You uh-huh, know what I mean? But uh-huh. I, I need to... I need to go ahead and and and, and make sure that I'm look I'm, like the black Marky Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he can, you know he do the pull ups and everything. He out here looking like you know when Will Smith hit the pull ups. You know the lady love that one. And, uh, and uh, what, what was that movie fam again? That the eye joint with the, with the crazy uh, zombie dude. But anyway, don't get me started. Oh yeah, don't. But, but I'm trying to get myself together so I can look like young Hercules, Hercules as well. Uh-huh. So, so EM Speed, I need to I need to get that transformation going on, man. So I need to holler. Absolutely. So we got coming up next. We got Coach Bird and explosive athletic training. He got two of his. Young, young studs coming in. Two kids from uh, Roosevelt. You get, you know Roosevelt. They have the, uh, the the team with 300 uniforms. Man, I mean, them boys got the, you know, Roosevelt. And, and you know, I really, cause they got the Broncos. Now, you know, I don't like nothing about no Broncos. You know, uh-huh. you know but, but the uniforms they have over there, I mean, them boys, I don't know who they signed the deal with. Uh-huh. But they got a, like a deal with Nike or something because them boys got uniforms aplenty. There, you, there they do. So they're coming up next. So let's go ahead and get them in. Let's take a quick commercial break. You listen to IE Sports Net connected by Boots Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports Radio. You're listening.
listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. From Jackie Robinson to John Elway, Southern California is home to many of America's greatest high school athletes. Now you can add to that legacy by voting for your favorites on a new website called SoCalPrepLegends.com. Log on today and vote for the best plays and players from the teams in your area. You'll find everything you need to make your selections, including stories, stats, videos, and more. Show your team spirit and give your players the recognition they deserve. Go to SoCalPrepLegends.com and see the stars of today become the legends of tomorrow. What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. you now tuning to I Sports. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are live from Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet Live. Connected by Boost Mobile, pardon me, live on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. This is your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. Man, yeah. you offer your A game today. Well, you know what, man? Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's one of those days, man, where, you know, there's a lot going on. You know, it's UFC tonight. Uh-huh. You know, we got... You, know, we got, we got you get the fight? Uh, no. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see where I can go see it for free. Well, I'm, well what I'm going to do is I got a relationship with a little... Uh, with a little bar in uh and, and no dilly no dally marina valley uh-huh and they said they're gonna have a they're gonna have a little uh they're gonna have a little spot for the kids so i can go over there and sit down and drink me a nice little coat some cold water with some lemon uh-huh I have my pinky flexing in the sky there you just go doing it how i do if it's know? mobile just be safe well you know I, you know what i'm gonna do is <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave all my jewelry at the house <laughs> i hear you man. You're hilarious man but we have some very special guests here uh live in the studio uh coach b you uh you were letting us know uh, about these guys that are doing seven on seven. You know, like when I when I was coming up, it was passing league. I'm sure uh-huh. man, he's familiar with that. Uh, but you know, now these guys got headgear. Uh huh. These boys got they got their own uniforms. They uh, got it all. I they mean, look hungry. Man, they look like they want to eat. They're salivating at the mouth. They uh-huh. just out there just you know. They just ready to eat up in yeah, here, man. Yeah, yeah, You know, so so we're gonna have to ask these young men about passing league because because you know 
one of the things I learned about passing league was I would always watch it because the coaches would always be really excited about the kid who was out there and passing, you know, because they ain't getting dirty. Uh -huh. So he out there looking good, you know what I mean? He out there looking good. I mean, he ain't sweating a drop. Ain't nobody touching on him. He just throwing it. Everything is just crisp. But then the pass get on. Uh-huh. And like Separate they say, the boys from men, just like, like the they group. say, looks like Tarzan, plays like Jane. You know what I'm talking about? Never heard that, but okay. I, you don't know nothing about that. I just see. know it separates the boys from men. It's like, you know, like the 90s group. It just, it just soared over his head. It, it did. It did, I'm man. Like, that's my man. But let's have these gentlemen come on. So, uh, matter of fact, Coach, if you could please, if you don't mind, introduce yourself to the IE Sports Net audience as well as introduce to these, uh, these fine young men you guys got in the studio with us today. What's up, IE Sports audience? Uh, my name is Coach Bird. I'm the president of EAT and uh, head coach. And I got two of my young ballers with me right now. Uh, these are... Everything dudes right here, especially mm -hmm. especially Randy Revere right here, and I got this uh, six foot everything <laughs> corner with me right now. Y'all can't see him, but uh, he he he's a skyrocket right now. Oh, he so. plays corner. Yeah, so he gonna be like my man uh, Browner. Oh, yes. my man. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. Legit corner, just long, intimidating. Long everything. Yeah. So we even put him on a on a on an island by himself, and he can get it done, yes. huh? Yes. There you go. I like yes. that, man. Yes. I like that. And, so and my man right here is 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 crazy talented. He can play everywhere. I like that, man. So, coach, now. Talk to us about the uh, the dynamic of seven on seven. It's been a it's been something now that coaches are, are obviously investing a lot more stock into. I yes. think, but before, as I was alluding to, you know, normally it was a you know it was, it was passing league. Yeah. You know, it was one of those things that most players didn't really kind of like. You know, you didn't really do a lot with. It's still passing league. Well, still yeah, passing. exactly. Well, see, look, I said, I'm thinking. See, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm, all right, I'm up on game a little bit, but uh, at any rate, but now the coaches obviously are putting a lot more emphasis on that. Yeah. Maybe you can kind of educate our audience why that is. Well, seven on seven is a basis of. of it's like anything. Like I also train, so repetition create reflex. And a lot of the times, like when we was coming up, football players, we didn't have nothing to do. Like I, I came up in '98 up in high school. You you didn't have nothing to do in the off season, so right. you had to go get it. Right. You had to go to the lab. You got to go train. Well, seven on seven to me, there's a, a a lot more pros than the cons. You know what I'm saying? Seven on seven allows the kids to go out there. You don't have to go. You're not forced to go run track. Right. You're not forced to go play some other sport, and you don't be sitting on your butt. If you're one of those ballers, like 707 is consistent of a lot of the teams consist of a lot of kids at the schools. Well, a few kids at each each perspective, perspective school mm -hmm. that have that talent and have that drive to go play ball. So, right. like, the dogs, the dudes at the school usually play on some 707 team. Got it, got it, got it. Now, how is this – your spring campaign going for you guys right now? Because I know you guys obviously have a team. You guys are out there, Man. you know. So, so maybe you guys can you can kind of like talk to us a, a little bit about how you guys are performing this this year, Coach Bird. Man, man, it was like I can't even express it in words how successful it was. Like when we started, nobody gave us a shot. Right. Just these two cats standing here alone, nobody gave us a shot with EAT. We literally. Ended up, to make a long story short, when we started, nobody saw us. Nobody really wanted to come play on our team. By the time we ended now, I got over 250 emails now. People want to come play. We started from playing in some of the top circuits. And every circuit that we went to, we actually got to the, either the top eight or the top four. Nice. With the guys that we have that, at the time, didn't even have any stars. Well, they still ain't giving no stars, but they didn't have no stars. We out there balling and strapping teams that, that, that are good. We end up playing. We ended our season with uh, three college tours: Fresno State, Cal, and uh, USC. Nice. Fresno was kind of hard because you know teaching the boys how to travel, how right. it is. If you really want to go to college, right. you know how to travel. You got to get on the bus. You're not at home. But right. mommy, yeah. it's gonna be hard to get up and play. <laughs> Fresno, we kind of had a real bad showing. But Cal, we won the whole thing at Cal. We nice. beat uh, TMP Elite, one of the best teams up in NorCal. We beat them. What? What was the score like? 42 to 0. Wow. There like you go. We, we talking That's about it. ballers, guys that have all offers. Yeah. And then uh, we went to USC. We played Liz. Liz is modern days. There you go. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. There's that music. <laughs> you, gotta, you, said that, you said When you say USC around here, you almost got to say. me up. You almost got to say US because you say yeah. USC, he like losing. He, like, <laughs> <laughs> he don't even know. He ready to. We, we had a show in at USC. I don't want to take too much. I want them to talk, but I'm telling you, USC, we went there. I, I give respect to uh, Alex Rios. Put the, respect uh, on we, the, the recruiting coordinator, he came to our kids and he told him, he said, guys, I'm going to admit to you, and I want Coach Bird to be right here, I'm going to admit to you that we didn't even give you guys a shot. We didn't think y'all was going to do nothing. We got to the championship game. We put stars out. We we knocked stars out. Yeah. And then we played Liz, modern day, kind of like a get-back game. Because right. we at uh, passing down, we went 7-0 and and lost to uh, modern day. They were tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No excuses, but they were tired. They mm -hmm. just, we just got beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Got to modern day game. We had them. We had them. A couple bad calls with the referee. We lost uh, by three points, but we had them. Mm-hmm. A few more minutes, we would have had them. Yeah. At and USC. I, I was going to say, man, they say no one respected you. No one wanted to play your team. But your team called the IE Sportsnet 7 on 7 because no one respected us when we came out. <laughs> but we kept fighting and kept making it happen. Um, and once again, you listen to IE Sports on Fox Sports 1350. We're joined by Coach, Coach Bird. EAT, Explosive Athletic Training. That's right. That's right. Um, now, Coach, I know you got some hogs on your squad, uh, some that, that couldn't make it today because they had some games. I want you to do two things for me. I want you to name drop the players that have helped you along the way and then explain to me exactly why you started uh, EAT. What, what was the reason you wanted to do it? And then we can get the, the, the boys on. Well, we have a couple of our teammates. We have Jeremy Musa. Jeremy Musa is a sophomore going to his junior season right now. Nobody gave this dude a chance. When I say he can throw the ball from anywhere across the field, mm-hmm. if you're on the right hash and you line up in the triples, he can still hit the outside receiver mm-hmm. in stride. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chase Williams, Chase Williams, he's not here. They uh, both have a game today. Chase Williams, when he started off with me, he only had the Washington offer. Now he has Washington State, Cal, USC, UCLA, and Fresno State. There you go. And each one of the tours that we went to, uh, you know, fortunately, Chase was the one that, that they saw. They really wanted to pick up each tour, each college tour we went to, Fresno, USC, and Cal. He got an offer there. And then USC UCLA, he got the US, <laughs> UCLA offer as well. I was up there working. And, and he got USC, up. right? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got they, – they both go to Roosevelt High School. And then we have uh, Don Lugo, some Don Lugo ballers. These kids – when I say under the radar, mm-hmm. completely under the radar. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Kendall Taylor, we call him K-Dot. And uh, Corey Bethy, he's a sophomore going to his junior. Kendall, this is last year. And uh, uh, we have Ryan Shepron. He actually has two offers as well, Idaho mm-hmm. and uh, KCU. He's uh, from Colony High School, over 42 touchdowns. Like He nice. had more touchdowns than Chase Williams, and he's the one on the map the most. Ryan is just a baller, straight nice. dog. And then, like, I got these two sitting right here, uh, Randy you can't you can't stop him. Yeah. You put yeah. him anywhere on the field, he can play quarterback. I don't know if y'all know it, but he was the quarterback that was in the game versus Rancho for Chino Hills and he he orchestrated that win nice. to beat the the dogs at Rancho. Nice. So this dude right here, man, he can he's he a hey, you can't you can't stop him. Mm-hmm, I can mm-hmm. put him anywhere on the field. And then mm-hmm. we got Jalen right here. He's a up and coming. You see how tall he is. Uh-huh. Like uh-huh. lockdown corner on the outside. There you go. There you go. I like it, man. And still growing. Yeah, yeah. And and what was the reason, Coach, like we said, what was the reason that you wanted to do I know you said that back in the day you didn't have stuff like this, but what was the reason you said, you know, I'm going to start EAT. I'm gonna start I started EAT. Athletic. It was actually a uh, – a, I was influenced by, you know, other organizations that I that I seen play. Like I had a small stint with uh, Ground Zero uh-huh. and, you know, learned some things from, from uh, Coach Brown. And then when I, I went – my boy Rob, he's he's the president of the Rare Breed, and very good organization. Mm-hmm. Very, he got a lot, man. Big organization. I sat down, with Rob. I said, Rob, how how do you get this thing started? And he literally was like, Look, man, these are the ins and outs. This is what you need to do. You can really help these kids if you do it the right way. So, not to make it too long, but he basically gave me the ins and outs, the goods, the bads, and what to expect with Seven on Seven, and was a big influence of why I got started. And I literally got started just to help the kids because a lot of the high schools aren't really helping the kids get what they need right. and get out. And a lot of high schools don't really agree with 7 on 7. Yeah. But <laughs> if you see what these skilled players do, like these cats, everybody on EAT's team, every single athlete, all 18 are starters at their school. Now. And wow, you know what? Cool. I know what we'll do. We're pressed up against the clock. So let's take a uh, – We'll take a break and we'll come back and talk to the young guys, man, see what yeah, they got yeah. going Put on. Put on the radio. Man. There it is. We'll get there them up. Have fun with this dude, Randy. Right? All right, here we Absolutely. go. We got, we got so, him. We got him. So when we come back, we're going to get EAT athletes online uh, on on the show with Coach Bird. Yes, All right. So we appreciate it. So you listen to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts right here, live on Fox Sports Radio 1350. Legacy. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, 
and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. This is Ryan Kelly with the L.A. Lakers. This is the Ice Sports Net. Is that the one fighting for your soul? Are your brothers the one that you're running from money? If you got money, go get the number one Yes, we're live right here from Riverside, California at the iHeart Radio Studios. It's IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. This is your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. Greg Holler had us getting ready like we were about to do a cypher. Yeah, I was, I was, I was ready, man. I was, I was about to, like it was you know, double dust. Yeah, I, was about you know? to, I was about to turn the hat backwards and see, yeah. you know, and see, see what I had with it. We had we have some uh, we have some young men here. Um, we want to make sure we get them on right here again. We the have, future. The future. We have explosive athletic training here in the house. We have some gentlemen. Here. Hashtag E A T. E A T. Man, I mean it's a beautiful thing. Uh, so gentlemen, go ahead, grab a mic, and let's introduce yourself, your man. Uh, I'm Randy Rivera. Randy Look at that Rivera. Voice, okay. man. You, if you Jaylen don't, Martin. if you don't yeah. say your name again, young man. Jalen Martin. I was going to say, if you don't make it in football, you can be a, a singer or something, man. You yeah. sound like boys to be in a Yeah, you about to say, you could, you could do like the deep voice part on the boys, man, yeah. girl. <laughs> you know I ain't really mean to leave you. You can do that part. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can do that real quick. Uh, but check it out. So so you you got the Broncos uh, joined on. So you're at Roosevelt, I imagine? Yes, sir. So how many uniforms do y'all got? Because me and Coach B been over here. We have been over, we got a little bet going on. We don't, I mean, every time I see y'all come out there, I don't know who y'all got. You know, they ain't got to put it out there. The over-under is five. Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we didn't seen y'all about, I don't know if it's practice uniform. We didn't seen y'all about eight different uniforms already, man. So how many, let our audience know, how many uniforms did the, the uh, Roosevelt Broncos have over there? Uh, we have about four jerseys, uh, I believe four pants as well. So it adds up to a lot of combinations. Oh, yeah. so, so, so I switch y'all do. Okay, that's that's why we see the different stuff because y'all, y'all y'all switch them up and stuff like that, right? Yes, sir. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. Okay, so tell me about uh, what the the thing that you actually personally enjoy about seven on seven. Uh, you know, uh, I like the competition. You know, it's a lot of hungry guys out there just trying to eat. Right. Right. Now, the good thing about this, because one of the things, you know, you're young, so you don't get a chance to experience this yet. But one of the football players, you know, the thing about football players is they, you know, you can't see them because the, the helmets are on. However, on seven to seven, you know, the girls can see you. So, you know what I mean? So everybody can see you. So, I mean, when you're catching, I mean, so what, 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 what position are you playing out there? I play wide receiver and DB. So I mean, okay. So I mean, you're in the talking position. You doing? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you doing a lot of woofing? Are you talk? Are you just out there just letting your game show? Uh, you know, I like to do both. It depends <laughs> on the situation. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> no doubt about it. Okay, so we have my man here. Okay, so six one playing corner. Uh, now I want to. 
I'm gonna ask you a question, young man. Now, you know, Holler, we're gonna have to probably, we're gonna have to put, you know, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna put a little silence on this because it's a very, very important question. And the answer is critical. So we need to know who is the best corner that's ever played the game in the NFL. So to take your time, young man, because, you know, there's a, there's a right answer. Like, like I said, time. there's a right and a wrong way. Prime time. <laughs> so go ahead. I'm going to let you go ahead and get a little whiff at that. Yeah, I said that. There, there you go. go. That's there what I'm talking about. Right. See, this now man, you guys uh, are ETA, teaching them y'all, right. Man, y'all doing a good job over there. You You're know, teaching them right, whew, man. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you could have said somebody else and it could have been like, you know, we had to stop the interview and all kind of weird stuff. I didn't want to hear no Josh Norman. Yeah, we didn't want no Josh Norman. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to hear none of that. No sermon, but I'm playing. That's a good thing. So so who did, who would you say that, you know, being six one, who would you say that you uh, you would model your game after? Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson. There you See, go. a lot of people don't know about Patrick Peterson, but he's the real, real athletic. And then, and, then, and seven on seven, in terms of seven on seven, because it is one of those things where, is especially when you're playing on the island, is you and the person. What would you say? What would you say that uh, the thing that you like about playing on seven, se- playing seven on seven football? Um, it's kind of more hands on, and people depend on me more. I feel like. People trust me enough where I can just be on the island and do and do my thing. I heard yeah, that. Yeah, because it's seven on seven. It's like you don't have you don't have to worry about the run. You don't have to worry. Well, you, they can run in seven on seven, but it's it's a lot of passing, and that's why they just they call it the passing league. And, because indeed, you got to be out there. You got to be ready. Well, and then you could get you could get you know you could get exposed. Exactly. You know if you know you're out there, you know your mama watching and everything. All yeah. of a sudden, now man, just do you feel that you fall? All of a sudden, you're on the tube, and you know what I mean. And people out there, you know what I mean. It don't look good for you. And you got a lot of yeah, you got a lot of seven on seven exploding out there. Now I want to ask both of you, young gentlemen, about this. Uh, like we said, Coach Bird said no one gave you guys a shot, so you guys have been part of making you know putting EAT on the map. Hashtag EAT on the map. I want to ask you guys what made you guys want to join EAT, and how has being a part of EAT helped develop you guys into the players that you. Are. Either one of you guys. <laughs> uh, well, I started uh, training with Coach Bird a little bit before the whole uh, Eat Seven on Seven team happened. So uh, I just chose him. You know, I like I like to be the underdog. You know, nobody gave us a chance. Sounds like us, man. Yeah, Sounds man. like how you sports net. Tell the truth and shame the devil. <laughs> but, uh, but but again, in terms of training, uh, young man, maybe you can answer the question in terms of. Uh, what would you say that you have learned with this experience with uh, EAT? What was one of the things that you've learned in terms of training and, and the seven on seven process? I've learned that you can't just get stuck on one play, and that your teammates going to depend on you if you do the right thing or the wrong thing, and things happen. So you got to trust your teammates also. I and, and, and I was looking at this with Randy. So what, what? Hold up, you were a freshman playing on the Chino Hills team. Uh, yes, sir. Oh wow! So. So you're a stud, is what you're saying? Yeah, he's like, that's what he's he saying. He was like, oh, he was, he was basically was trying to tell you is you ain't seen me in the pictures. Like when he was walking, he was like, I don't know if this guy has seen or seen me in the pictures. So you, so you was the ninth grader playing, some, he was playing some varsity then. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. tell him about that game, man. You know, let it, let it, let it be known. Put it out there. Uh, well, uh, my quarterback got hurt, so I stepped up big. Uh, two varsity games in league as a freshman. Yes, sir. Oh my. Yeah, you know, because let me tell you something, I, and I often say this story. If I were to play, because, you know, freshman, <laughs> freshman, yeah. I, well, true story, I was actually academically ineligible. And my father didn't, my father didn't let me quit. So I had, I was like water boy and practice player. You know, my, so I was out there like, you know, just cheering the team on. You're like, you're like, you know, I was like the guy on the sideline with the jersey. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> go out there, go hard for the team. But if I were to play, freshman, as a, as a freshman too, and, and I was, you know, Lord forbid if I was to score a touchdown, I don't you know, I, you know, I'd have been inconsolable. You know what I mean? I'd have been out there just, you know, just, just dancing in the end zone, just doing, you know, you know what I mean? It, it just would have just been bad. So it, it's a good thing you reserved like that, young man. Cause but see, this that's what I was gonna say. He ain't reserved. Oh, like, not this, this, this right. This is the fire <laughs> of the team. I'm telling you, like I, honestly, for for EAT seven on seven, for our seven on seven team, Randy is literally the fire of the team. Like, uh huh. He has one of the biggest hearts on the team, and y'all can't see him, but you know, go look at his uh, social media. What's your social media, bro? What's your Twitter? Uh, Twitter is Randy underscore uh, seven Rivera. This yes. dude, this Randy dude, Smooth voice. Yeah. That's what you should be, the, man. Yeah. <laughs> he came into the game. He uh, Coach Bacto put him in uh, against Rancho, like I said, because the quarterback went down. And Rancho, you know, they, they're they're just laced oh, man, with DBs are. across Guaranteed. the board. Yeah. Uh-huh. J- Jaden Red, uh, 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 Thomas Graham, uh, to Venable, all those cats, right? Yeah. You know, guys play for ground zero. This dude, this dude, literally came in at quarterback. You know, he was, of course, he was playing not not your stand in the pocket type quarterback, your right. read option type quarterback. Mm-hmm. 
and he kept him off balance there there you go. Go. the whole time. Yeah. So I'm going to speak up for him because he ain't speaking right now. But he that's, did a hey, that's good, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's, we'll go. see, humble man. That's a good thing. Now, now uh, no, go ahead, Coach. I know you got no, it. I was going to say, I, I know we're pressed up against the time, but Coach, before we get out, I wanted to know what is the future of EAT and what are some of the big tournaments you guys coming up and you're excited about? These two right here. Like there you go. The future. You got these two plus Chase Williams, Musa. Like our team, the ironic thing about EAT was that all of our kids were literally sophomores and freshmen. Mm-hmm. We had a couple of them, like Ryan Shepron at, at, at Colony. Um, he's, a, he's a senior. Kendall, the one I mentioned, is a senior. But everybody else I mentioned are underclassmen. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Next year is going to be bananas. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be crazy. We're trying to fill a spot right now, trying to get a – uh, Ryan Spotfield, because he's one of our dogs on the outside, over 42 touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need an outside receiver, and we're trying to fill a spot for a corner to help Jalen out on the other side. Mm-hmm. But literally, EAT, the future of EAT right now, we're just trying, I'm trying to stay consistent and get as many kids like you guys out there listening. If you want a kid to really be trained and know the fundamentals and be fundamentally sound before all that hoo hop and excitement. Bring them to EAT. Hey, you don't want them all in the video. I'm just about to say, I'm about to say, it sounds like still. If you don't want your producer, (laughs) all in the video, (laughs) dancing, come on to EAT. (laughs) Just like that. You don't see me in none of the videos. All the videos you see is my kids. And I 100% train them. Like, none of our videos are scripted. What you see is either them and, and a rep before they got tired or after they got tired. I yeah. just show the progress. If you go down on our Instagram and just scroll all the way down, Sports Athletic Training, scroll all the way down, you'll see the progress of every last one of them. There you go. Stuff, and, man. And once again, we're joined in the studio by Coach Bird and his yes, explosive athletic training squad on IE Sports and at Fox Sports 1350 AM. Hey, let, let the gentlemen introduce themselves again real quick. That way, I mean, you know, let the, let the folks know where y'all at, man. Roosevelt High School, right? Yes, sir. Word. Go ahead. Drop your name. Oh, Jalen Martin. There you and go. what high school you go to? Uh, no, Roosevelt. I'm okay, no corner. doubt. <laughs> Randy Rivera, Roosevelt, wide receiver. There it is. Don't man. worry, they'll be back, coach. They'll, yeah, they'll, yeah, yeah. You know, this is the first time out. They'll be back. Yeah. Hey, one, one more thing. Come to that game, man. These cats are starting. Like, Randy is is the slot over there. Jaden getting reps at varsity. Like, literally, the uh-huh. underclassmen that play with EAT are all getting reps. Nice, all nice. Good stuff, man. Working. And like you said, if you want to join him, you want to follow him, follow him on Twitter. It's at EAT7 on 7. That's EAT, yep, yep, yep. the number 7, on ON, the number 7. So EAT7 seven on 7. Yeah, so it is right there, man. We appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks so much for, uh, for uh, doing another segment with us. We appreciate it. You ready to take a quick commercial break? Yes, indeed, sir. Let's pay some bills. Let's go ahead and do this. So you're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts right here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous community. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Xarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Xarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Xarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. 
now. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle ScoreSports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Yes, we are live right here in Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile and Fox Sports 1350. This is your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. Hey, let me tell you something. Me and my we, me and my, my man, uh, uh, Kendrick, we, I, I want to say it was fifth or fourth grade. We got into a fight <laughs> behind who was going to play Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, uh, in, in, uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph, Ralph Tresvant. Uh, for the for the for the talent show, I remember that. Like first, how it started was we had we had a girl that we equally liked. Uh huh. So she was right there, and we was gonna do the sing off. We did the sing off. He won hands down. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want that. I was like, oh no no no, we are gonna have to take it to the street. Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah, he, he didn't want to fight, and he still was Ralph, and we you know, and I, I was Bobby. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I he was, won. He won. So I, no, 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 I, we didn't. We didn't even. And I said we didn't even. He didn't. He didn't take on the, the physical challenge. He was like, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. I won already. He was yeah, told, yeah. He's like, hey, our, our bet was to sing in front of old girl. I won. So there you go. Yeah. I gotta ask. I gotta ask Punch because my the very first record I ever bought was a 45. It was a new edition Popcorn Love. Oh, and it was at the record store across the street from the YMCA in Compton. In Compton I gotta ask Punch which, which street. I can't remember which street oh, the Y is on. Yo, that's but crazy. it was a 45. Yo. That's what, you know, that's when young Coach B was growing up in the city, yo, in the hub you, city. You couldn't tell me nothing about new edition. Like my whole thing was new edition. Like for like fifth. Like, you know, like fourth grade all the way up to like seventh grade, it was uh-huh. like new edition. I mean, that's all it was. So. Uh-huh. Word, word. We, I know we dating ourselves, but it's, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. As a matter of fact, and still, and still, truth be told, one of the best concerts that I've ever been to was the new edition concert. That they brought everybody, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I couldn't, I couldn't afford it, so I never went. Oh, to no, no, no. This is recently. This yeah. is recently. I, so, like I said, I couldn't afford it. So I, I mean, what, what, well, you know, I went ahead and cashed out the EBT card. Me and, the, you know, you know, you know me, we, we slid up there and made it happen. Well, we need to see if they're going to be a Sam Manuel. Well, that's, that, well, that's, that's where I saw him. Oh, really? I saw him at Sam with Bobby. And they that's had, what you didn't tell nobody. Well, this is this is a long time ago, bro. Okay, is, I just want to make it sure. It wasn't, it wasn't like it was yesterday. I, hey, there go punch right there. Yeah, what, what street is the Y on in Compton? You remember the YMCA? It's right there by the burger spot. I, I, I don't remember where it's at, but it, that's where I bought my my very first 45. What, what you said, what burger spot? Uh, it was right across the street from the YMCA, but I don't remember the... Uh, I can't remember the name of the burger spot. Yeah, I know. Let me tell you something. Cause, it you know, was that Greek spot. And me, I, I and, me and Coach B have both had ass curls, and, and, it, and it starts to mess with your mind after a while. So, you know, that's that's why, he, you know, his memory is a little sharp. But at any rate, we are talking big big time sports. They giving away checks. Boy, they check. the NBA like. Checks, checks are, are, are coming out in a plenty. Uh, big up to my man KD. Went out there and got his money. Uh, I like Kevin Durant. Uh, but, you know, I, I've been a Kevin Dudu fan since he was at Texas. I mean, you know, the, the dude is a specimen. I mean, you know, almost seven feet with a wicked Jimmy. I mean, his Jimmy is just, the way he shoots is just like, so it's only natural to be with the other three. I mean, to me, they are the three, that is like the three best shooters uh-huh. in the league on that Golden State team. And real. let me ask you something, man. Charles Barkley started in Philadelphia, right? Right. He went to Phoenix to win a championship. Come on right? now. Well, he didn't, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He went to Phoenix to do what? To, win, to try to win a okay. championship. Okay, thank you, thank you. And then he went from Phoenix to Houston with a team that had already won two championships. <laughs> to, to try to, to win, do what? To try to win a championship, Exactly. Right? But it's so funny how Charles Barkley always comes out and talks about these players going out to try to get a championship. But this dude didn't. He, he started in Philadelphia. Exactly. 
He started in Philadelphia yep. and didn't finish in Philadelphia, right? Right. right. But he always got has something to something say. To you know, every say. time Charles Barkley talks, I smell the Bengay on his breath. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if that dude don't sit down somewhere with his old hamburger helper looking self, I mean, you know, it's here goes. He's the like thing. a sock job. That, that's what I was about to say. That's what he, he's there, and he does a good job at it. I mean, you know, because the man can't talk anyway. You know that. You know his his his, his you know his. We're not going to get into that. I like Riverside Ready is my guy. And, and here goes the thing. You're not going to sit there because everybody's real down on, on Kevin Durant. But, I mean, look, the dude, I mean, he's one of the classiest guys in the NBA. Uh-huh. Um, uh, you know, in association with LeBron James as well. Uh, but, you know, but both, I mean, nobody, you know, and now people aren't, you know, you got to remember, like, he crucified. They, they crucified LeBron for going over there and doing all that weird stuff he did. Absolutely. And so, again, Kevin Durant, he made a business decision. I mean, you could, you could clearly see – he was having problems with Russell Westbrook. And one of the things that he said on there that was that he wanted that team camaraderie. He wanted that, you know, that, that team dynamic. And he was saying that when the, the Golden State Warriors came to meet him, they brought four players. They brought, uh, they brought Iguodala. They brought my man, uh, uh, Young Clay. They brought Young Steph Curry. And then they also brought my man Draymond. Uh-huh. And he, they walked up in there like, hey, you're going to be the fifth wheel. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the fifth Beatles. Exactly. So, yeah. so, if I, so if I'm a, uh, so if I'm, you know, if I'm Kevin Durant, I'm going to be impressed by that because he said, didn't nobody else bring out their players? You yeah, know? he's been in the league since 07. So you think, Ten years. Yeah, you think about that. He's been in the league since 07. This is going on the 10th year in the league, and he hasn't won. Yes, he made it to the finals, but they couldn't beat LeBron. They couldn't you know, him. and then they couldn't beat Golden State. It's like it comes to a point in time where you say, you know, I'm tired of losing. And here's the thing. People talk about Jordan, and they talk about how great Jordan is, but what people always forget about before Scottie Pimpin, Jordan was one in three Man. in the playoffs, and right. no one ever talks about that. Right. Well, you know, it, 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 t- it takes a squad. You're not going to get, you know, and again, Mike, you know, there, there's this folk to say, Mike, I'm not going to tell you Mike is the best player in the league. You know, He's ever. not. Don't lie. You know what I mean? I, I'm saying, I'm not going to tell you that. Yeah, don't lie about it. You know what I mean? But, so, but, but, you know, but there are those that hold that, hey, MJ is the best player ever. And he was, and, uh, and I like go chain Mike. Mm-hmm. I don't, I like go chain Mike to me was better than non go chain Mike. Right. Like, when he still had the little bit of hair left. When, when he had a little bit of hair left and he had the two gold chains on. Right. He couldn't it, wear his shoes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that was that was the mic that I enjoyed. That mic, that mic right there was, uh-huh. he was nasty. He didn't win, though. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? And, and he couldn't get past Boston. He couldn't couldn't get past Detroit. Beat that boy. I, I remember some time, Mike is almost, I used to see Mike. Hey, just but no one talks teddy bear. about that. Oh, no man, one, one talks that about that. And, you know, tell me this. When, when he did go on his run, who did he beat? You beat an old Magic oh, Johnson. Yeah, exactly. You beat an old Larry Bird. Yep. And Barkley is nothing. Yeah. Who and, did you beat? And that's what I'm saying. The competition level during that time when Mike was on his spurt was not the same. It was Bottom not. line. Because when it was th- when it was thick, when the competition was real. He couldn't win. He didn't win. Nope. He didn't win. Nope. You know what I mean? Whereas Magic Johnson, first year out the, out the box, played center uh-huh. as against a point Moses. Guard. As a point guard. One in Philly. Uh, against Moses. Are you talking about the guy in four years that won a high school championship, <laughs> a college championship, and an NBA championship? You talking about that guy? Young Magic. Buck. You know what I'm saying? Buck Johnson. Young Buck. But uh, but we have some also some, uh, uh, and again, big up to our, our intern, Pete. Got some good, some NFL news. Uh, it's, training camp starts in a couple of weeks. No more Calvin Johnson. Uh, Megatron said, hey, I ain't getting bruised up right. no more. Right, uh, You know, and, and Megatron was like a, I mean, you got to think about this. Megatron is probably one of the bigger athletes, especially at his, at his position. Mm-hmm. I mean, hence the name Megatron. Mm-hmm. This dude is like a specimen playing that receiver. And for him to tell you that he's taking a physical. On his name. With a K. Um, <laughs> and, for him, and for him to tell you that he's going through a beating and taking a beating like that is eye-opening. Uh, so, so you know, and again, but it, to each his own. Because let me tell you something. I'm going to go out there and take that beating for $45 million too. It's, here's the thing. It's, it's kind of like the hip-hop business. Now you got rappers retiring. When we were growing up, didn't nobody retire. <laughs> it has a lot to do with the money. I mean, the for money real. that you get right now. Yeah. Uh, and especially, I, you know, my, my, my boys play football. You know, I get the coach beat from coaching football. But after seeing that Will Smith movie, I'm not as excited about football like I used to be. You know, you think about these players, you got to think. And I think the NFL gets a bad rap because you think about it, a lot of those kids have already been playing football 10, 15 years. I was just about to say, yeah, exactly. Before they get to that level. I think, I think, uh, you're, I think you're right about that. It's because here goes the deal. We are in a gladiator age. Like, you know, I, it, it's difficult for me because most people, are, most players will tell you that even with the, the knowledge of the, the hits and, and et cetera, I want to play. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. Um, you know, with, with me, with football, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I truly, that was, football was probably like the only sport that you can get and you can like get really emotionally involved and go out there, and, you know what I mean, and play like that with all that emotion and still kind of be able to perform. 
Uh, but besides it's, USC, it's, it's the most manly sport there is. You know, besides USC, U- oh, oh UFC. UFC, yeah, okay, okay. UFC. Well, or, or boxing. It's still boxing. Yeah. It's boxing, still, yeah, it's, it's still it's, brutal. They still box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you other go than Floyd. You, who hey, you got? I mean, there's Crawford. Uh, there's, what's that heavyweight boy's name? That boy from Nebraska. That boy from uh, yeah. But no, no, he's from Alabama. What's our guy that we went and saw at Citizens Business Bank? Um, uh, he's he's fighting that boy from Alabama. I Wilder. Remember, remember yeah. we saw Andre Wilder. You no, talking, no. About, talking about the, the, the uh, Hispanic Andre. brother? Ward. No, oh, Andre. Ward. Oh, Andre Ward is no, he's real. Yeah, yeah, that's our yeah, guy. We went and saw. Oh yeah. my goodness, Greg Holly in here playing. Two, oh my goodness, you got the MC Hammer. Now, let me tell you. Don't now, now I'll, I'll tell y'all again about MC Hammer. MC Hammer was my guy. I don't yeah, care what he still nobody is. said. He still is my guy. This video right here, where Hammer come. Hammer, what you gonna do, Eternal? You ain't hitting in New York. Oh, what? Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. I damn near lost my wig when I came, came off. Believe it when I tell you. Uh, I had me some hammer pants. What I ain't you gonna, gonna do about that, Eternal? <laughs> put my hammer pants on and get after it. Uh, but yeah, it's going down, man. Right here live on IU Sportsnet. IU Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile. Coach B. Now, uh, also. Uh, again, it's still going in. We I, I, and again, I gotta applaud Coach B again because you, I saw the uh, I saw the credentials go out this morning. Uh, where, you know, it's NBA Summer League time. Uh, our boy that, that had the you know the they 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 was, they was calling him. Uh, 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 am I, I'm probably gonna say it right. I, I was, uh, but the, the boy that was snitching. Uh, young, <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a picture with him. So when, when yeah, you yes, got I the do. picture, with, was that your camera or his camera? Wow. Wow. I just I just want to make sure because I made sure it was it was my camera, but okay. I didn't let him hold it. Okay, I didn't let uh, him hold my we're camera. We're talking about Russell, and yeah. that's the thing I thought about, man. He was learning, but uh, you know, you upset me when you sent that picture because again, <laughs> our guy Daniel at, with the Lakers. Yes. You know, I'm thinking, you know, we're on Fox now. I'm we like, because he would always give us one credential. I'm like, oh, you know, Daniel, we're on Fox 13, 13, 50 now. You know, uh, <laughs> we need two credentials, and he calmly said, no, you get one. He, uh, the, yeah. <laughs> he very calmly he's like, um, one I or think, none. Yeah. I, I think the the offer was one. Yes, and, and you, it stays one. And you can take it or leave it. It remains one. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, well, Daniel, we're driving all the way from from the IE. Yeah. We're coming down to media day. Yeah. You know, we want to carpool. Uh, it's one. There's one. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's the one thing about the Lakers. They were firm, and they were not going to well, give because, up Well, uh, because, uh, oh, uh, John Black don't play. Anybody yeah. knows about the Lakers, John Black. Uh, and, again, peace to him, because he could have kicked me out, and he didn't. Yeah, uh, he should have. Yeah, now, should've. well, well, you know, the, the jury's still out. We, we still are trying to request. All right, so we don't really know. For this so, matter year. Fact, so, hey, John Black, did I tell you how much yeah. you like you? <laughs> we still got to make nice, right? I forgot about that. Absolutely. Uh, like, you know what? I was gonna say we we uh, wanted we take a quick commercial break. Okay, yeah, because I was about to get my old Sheila on right oh, there. Oh my you know goodness! I mean? Oh my goodness, yeah. man! Let's I'm, go ahead. I'm ready and take, for the world. Let's do our last commercial break, man. You listen to IU Sports <laughs> Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, right here live on Fox Sports 1350. <laughs> You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year, we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Xarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Xarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Xarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken 
taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. This is Ryan Kelly with the L.A. Lakers. This is the I Sports Net. Yes, we are right here live from the iHeartRadio studios in the great city of Riverside, California. It is IU Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile right here live on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. You know, RIP to uh, uh, yeah, I forgot my, my Tony Thompson. Yeah, right? Tony Thompson, high five lead singer. A great group. I mean, if you know, I love High C, oh, man. Oh man, let me tell you something. High five. I remember, I, I, I remember, I had wrote that, wrote the, the lyrics on a song to a girl one time, and she was like, "Nigga, that's a song. I can listen to that song. I ain't, ain't doing nothing creative." I thought I was like really hitting her off or something. You know what I mean? Uh, but again, man, we are talking big time sports. It's uh, UFC night tonight, uh, so I'm watching UFC. They got big old. They said they had eight thousand people. Show up to the weigh-in last night. Yes, yes. I mean, which is just because Lesnar's coming. Brock Lesnar is coming back. Yes. And they're just talking about because they're saying that UFC's three biggest stars are gone. Right, right. Now, right. Isn't Les- Lesnar was a wrestler though, right? Yes. That, that's why he's so. Ma- that's why, in terms of uh, a showmanship, that's why he's so massive. Everybody right, really right. digs him because of that. Uh, but they were talking about like because you know uh, you got Conor McGregor's out. Right. You got uh, Ronda Rousey who's somewhere eating Snickers, uh, and then you got John Bones Jones who's you know mess with the juice. Mm. Give me the juice. He's well, with yeah, the McGregor, McGregor's gonna be in two hundred one, right? Yes, he is. Yes, with, with, with Nick Diaz. Uh, but but yeah, so so they're still they, the UFC is really flexing his muscle right now, really showing that hey, we're still out there getting busy because again, they got they got the um, the girl on Misha Tate who is not bad looking. Miss mm-hmm. uh, Misha Tate. That's the one that Rousey beat, right? Rousey beat, and then and then and then. She got. She beat the one that beat Rousey. The, the man girl, the girl that looks like the Terminator, but yeah. you know what I mean? Like, she looks, I don't want to fight that girl. But which, you know is, which is weird because I think, see, they're trying to get Ronda her title back. She should have to fight the girl she lost to. Right. Because she beat Misha Tate, I think, two or three times. Because Misha, yeah. Misha Tate beat the girl that beat Ronda. Right. But she should have to go through that girl to yeah. get to Misha Tate because they're just going to give Ronda her title back. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 exactly. Yeah, no, no. You got to, you, to me, you got to go beat. But that girl looked like she's off that juice. I mean, yeah. she her jaw yeah. and her stuff. I'm like, yeah. ooh, girl. But the one thing, uh, the guy that, that Bones is going to fight, did you see, uh, what, what's his name again? Dan, Daniel Cormier. Did you see when Dana White broke the news oh, to man. him? Well, you got to think. He was going to cry. Well, you, but no, no, no. You got to think about why he was going to cry. You, you're you going to get a million-dollar payoff, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, He's so, not going to get that now? No. Oh, mm. no, no. You can't get that because I mean, you got to be box but office. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 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 you didn't already – see, I mean, you see how clo- – I've already spent that money. Yeah. I didn't already told my girl about how we going to get the house already. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I didn't already got on cra- – you know. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, it's bad news. He probably, he probably already leased the whip, so he got to turn all that stuff up in there. Yeah. So, so that, that's why he was crying, because of, of that money. He wasn't yeah. crying because of, of, of Bone Jones. Yeah, so Bone Jones tested positive for a banned substance. I don't know if they've uh, they've announced what it is, no, but I mean. Yeah, they have not, but they but he went through he went through an A and B series test, and both of the tests came back positive. So. But Silva, Silva's going to be the, that's going to be an interesting This guy, to well, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting, but you got to think, he, just, he flew from Brazil. Uh, um, he he's on four, forty-eight hours notice. Yeah, I mean, he just, passed all the tests. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you're gonna pass the test, but but just me doing knowing like coming from wrestling, uh-huh. you gotta prepare. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So I it's, and they're talking about he just got his uh, gold bladder taken yeah. out three months ago. Yeah. So it's like I'm like 
if, well, you if, gotta I, give if that's him a fight. me, I'm socking him right in the stomach. Yeah, if, if you got to give him a fight. But you know, it's like if they stay like Floyd. You know, Floyd, sugar free Mayweather. Like he always said, you stay ready. <laughs> yes. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> so, you know, he gets, he gets you know, uh, our, our guy from uh, from Pomona might not like me saying that. Right, right, uh, right. Uh, 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 Sugar Shane? Sugar Shane. Yeah. Sugar Shane. But, I like but you know Shane what? too. We're going to get up out of here. You re- what else we got, man? Uh, well, again, big up to everybody that came up to South Punch. Uh, my guy Pete Nice, everybody uh, for tuning in. Uh, big up to my man Greg Holler, man. Did a great job on the wheels today. Um, you know what? Check it out. If you guys want to. A.T., thanks yes. for coming out. E-A-T, Coach Bird. Yeah, big up to the the, the, the young players, man. Uh, uh, but, yeah, it's going to be going down. If you, folks want to follow us, uh, IE Sportsnet on all our social media. Again, log on to our website, IESportsNet.com. Thank you for listening to IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops right here live on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Black on tracks, so rest assured. My rights, my wrongs, I'm right till I'm right with God. When you know we've been hurt, been down. Down before when our pride was low, looking at the world like where do we go? And we hate poor poor, wanna kill us dead in the street for sure. I'm at the preacher's door, my knees getting weak and my gun might blow, but we gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. You're all listening right. to iesportsnet.com. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet, every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.